Hello loves, Shinjini here from Modern Gypsy. Uh, so today I'm uh, sharing this art journal page that I created in a little book that I made out of a shopping bag. And I had collaged and painted on both the sides of it, so which is why whenever I open it up uh, and flip through the pages, something or the other catches my eye and I just paint, you know, kind of randomly anywhere in the book. That's kind of radical, isn't it? So today what caught my eye was the woman upside down. Uh, you know the shape of that woman upside down and it kind of reminded me of a vase filled with flowers. Uh, kind of poetic, don't you think? Women, flowers, beauty, blooming. There's quite a lot of symbology in there. Anyway, um, this was quite a playful page and I just wanted to have fun with it and I wanted to try a couple of different things. So I mainly used my fingers for most of this page actually to fill in the background and um, I, since I hadn't yet decided if I wanted to use the entire spread, uh, you know, kind of both the pages, but eventually I did decide to use both of them because I want to put in a quote as well. And if I use just the one side, uh, I wouldn't have any place to write anything. So again, I'm just going in with the same color palette on the other side of the page and having some fun painting in there with my fingers. It's it's very freeing, it's very childlike and I really enjoy doing it. Um, the paints I'm using are orange, lime green, red, pink and violet uh, along with a little bit of white and paints grey and some uh, aqua blue that will come in at the end and I did put a smidgen of that around the vase as well. So I used the paints grey around the edges of the page to kind of give it a dark frame if you will. So that kind of holds the whole page together. It frames the page uh, would probably be the right way of saying it. And I did not want to lose the pattern of that dress which is why what I did with it was I just um, used a very thin wash of gesso on that dress and left it so that you can see some of that uh, background, that pattern still shining through the paint. And once my background was ready, at this stage I uh, just used a color pencil to try and see how I'd like the leaves or the plants or whatever's in the vase to um, to fall out of it, to be placed in it. Um, but I'm not too happy with how this is looking. Um, it's really not what I had in mind for this. So I'm going to come back in with a cloth and just rub it all off. And it's while I was actually editing that initial part of the footage and I was looking at this video again that I realized that this little corner that I'm working in right now, it already looks like flowers. And that was my original intention as well when I started painting. So I'm coming in with color pencils and pens to get in the petals and the shapes. Um, and I'm using a color pencil and a blender to add some shading around the flowers. So that kind of gives it a little bit of a depth. And I used a pastel pencil to, uh, a pastel pencil, yes, to um, draw in these little leaves and branches. Uh, and I filled in a few of the leaves with white, some of it with green. Um, and yeah, I kind of already don't really like this 
matchy matchy thing that's happening with the leaves on both sides so i'm going to come back a little later and fix it in the meanwhile i'm really trying desperately here to get the flowers to pop out of the background now the thing that i was experimenting with on this page was that i kind of wanted to stick to this same color scheme i did not want to add too much of a pop or a contrast to it i wanted to see how i can use all of these colors in all of that vibrancy and still get certain areas to to be highlighted um and or to stand out um as separate from the background so you're going to see me working quite a bit on trying to get that to work and it was quite an interesting uh experiment for me um to work in this way uh to really create contrast just by using different values of the same colors uh so i mixed in a lot of uh, gesso with some of those brush pens and to just lighten those same colors in the flowers uh to get them to be slightly different uh from a value perspective from the rest of the colors and i'm going to be using a lot of white uh pen work now uh to or a little later in the video to really get those petals to bloom um i used some of that lime green to get rid of one of the leaves on one side of the page and here again is my experiment with really trying to figure out how i can get these flowers to pop i didn't want to make it uh to make the background white around them i kind of was not too fond of this yellow uh, it just did not go with the rest of what was happening there uh so yes there's a lot of back and forth in layering to try and get this to work um in some manner and that's actually what this art journal is for it's for me to play to experiment to try new things and to see how i can get uh get these weird ideas of mine to work i mean you know there's really no good reason to not use contrast to make something to pop but there you have it i was obstinate about it for quite a long time and i'm still trudging on trying to get this to work so just layering on paint and shadows with the color pencil yeah i can be really stubborn sometimes um and it's now that i'm editing this video and doing this voice over that i'm kind of just shaking my head at my at myself i mean yeah there's no good reason to do what i did anyway here i'm coming in with a, a white pen and putting in these little uh lines in the flower so that does get it to pop out and stand out a little bit so i like that uh this is something that i ended up doing off camera i didn't realize that the camera was off i just uh, put down strips of masking tape and painted over it with um titanium buff that's where i'm going to put a coat down that i found on pinterest a little bit earlier which is why i put the camera off and then forgot to put it on um and i'm putting a little bit of shading around this journal block with a color pencil and blender pencil and kind of rounding off the edges there and i'm going to come in and write out the quote without deciding or planning anything so that's always interesting because um you kind of have to fix the writing as you go yeah i live a little dangerously sometimes <laughs> so here's the quote and i'm going to fill in the little um 
alphabets here, the little shapes that the alphabets make um, with white to get it to pop a little bit more. And then another thing that I ended up doing off camera that you'll see in a little bit is I used that aqua blue around the flowers. Finally, yeah, I kind of gave in. Uh, but that did work out a lot better. Um, and then I'm coming in with dots because, you know, dots just make everything better and happier. Yeah, that's what I think at least. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to some of my rambling thoughts about this painting process and seeing a little bit of the obstinacy that goes on around here from time to time. Uh, anyway, do hit like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment below so that I can see that you were here and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you next time. Bye-bye.